Hey there, I hope you're having an amazing day. And let's talk about purpose, because you know I love talking about purpose. Oprah had a video, I'll put a link below. Um, she made some nice points. One thing that kind of stood out to me was, I don't know if I heard it before, but I liked how it sounds. Because we all think about finding our purpose, right? And I believe maybe a lot of us have found it, but we're scared of moving forward. And that's okay, I'm not judging you. I've been there and I'm still stuck there sometimes. So, because I know it might, I'm not saying that in a, in a, in a mean <laughs> way, right? That you're scared, because we're all there. But she said something about, I like what she said about honoring the calling, right? It's not just about finding your calling, finding your purpose, but once you find it, are you going to honor that? right are you going to move forward are you gonna accept it and, and I, I feel like if you feel there's a purpose for your life right that is a gift that has been given to you right what if I don't know I don't think and I don't know we choose I don't know if you choose your calling or if your calling chooses you, right? Maybe you don't pick your purpose, your purpose picks you. So are you gonna honor that? Are you going to accept that? Are you going to fulfill that calling, right? Are you gonna honor that calling? So I think that's something worth considering. And then she also talked about the idea that I think she thought her purpose was bigger than what her town, her state could have, I don't know how she phrased it, I forget, right? But maybe even bigger than what her grandmother, I think she was, she was saying that, what her grandmother thought she would grow up to, right? And I can definitely relate to that and I think maybe you can too, right? I come from a small town from Uruguay, South America, a tiny country that not many people know about, right? We're good at soccer, we have amazing meat, <laughs> beautiful people, beautiful women, uh, but not many people know about it, right? Tiny country, small town, so I've always, sometimes I felt like a huge sense of purpose, like holy shit, like I'm here for something big and I think every child wants to change the world, right? And then those fears come up, like who am I? Who am I to, to actually follow my dream, right? I have these dreams, this vision of what I want to do. I see myself as Superman changing the world, helping so many people, right? Improving so many lives. But then the fears come in. And it's like, who am I to do it? Who the hell am I? Like, oh, why are you so arrogant thinking that you can do that? But I don't think that's arrogance or even ego like some people say. What if that's an aspect of the soul, right? Your soul came to this planet at this time for a reason. And that reason doesn't need to be huge. You don't need to be a famous star to fulfill that. But if you feel a sense of purpose, if there's something, some kind of activity, some kind of service you provide, some kind of thing you do for others, that fulfills you at a deep level, right? In your heart, in your soul, it just makes you feel like nothing else can make you feel, right? It's not about the money anymore. You would do it if you didn't even get paid for it. You would do it just because of how it makes you feel, right? If you found that, and if you haven't, you're probably close anyways. Just keep trying shit. But if you found that, are you going to honor that? Are you going to honor that? I've loved the impact that I've had on others through video, right? And I'm jumping back on YouTube now because I used to do it all on Facebook. I love the impact that I've had on others. And when I stopped making videos for a while because I was doing all internal work and going in and exploring things and healing and doing a bunch of stuff, 
I missed it. Like there was something in me that was telling me, make a fucking video, right? I really wanted to do it. And I don't think, of course there's uh, those things from childhood, right? I feel like I wasn't heard enough and I wasn't, I wanted to be seen and, and heard and, and appreciated and understood and accepted and all and liked and all that stuff and loved, right? So of course there's a part of me that maybe is trying to get that through this. Of course, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm only human, right? I'm not perfect. But there's something else there. There's something else behind why I have a deep desire to help others through video. Maybe there's something else there. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to stay in my comfort zone anymore. I want to see what's here. I want to see what, what's out there for me, right? We all want opportunities, right? And we want to attract things and the law of attraction and I want this career and I want all the stuff that I... But are you putting something out for you to get something in return, right? Are you following your passion? Are you following your bliss? Are you, are you doing what you can to offer something to the world, to leave your mark in the world, to leave that legacy, to leave that thing that you want to leave? in the world, right? I don't know, I think it's... it's an exciting topic because it's also scary and a lot of the things that are scary have gold behind them, gold, a treasure, right? I like the phrase by Joseph Campbell, that, that the cave you fear to enter has a treasure you seek. And it could be interpreted in many ways, but I think sometimes when you follow that fear, there's beauty, beauty behind it. And it's like when they say when you reach a goal, it's not about reaching that goal, it's about who you become on the journey to reaching that goal. Who you become as you grow into a more evolved version of yourself, right? Um, so that's it I don't know what else I was going to share as always I go off topic and as always my mind goes all over the place and as always I forget what else I was going to share and as soon as as soon as I turn off the camera I remember more ideas but whatever I'm not, I, I don't like editing my videos I just put it out there and may, I'll just make more that's it I, I don't care I'm not perfect I'm trying my best to help and to follow my bliss and to explore my purpose, explore that place outside of my comfort zone and honor that calling like Oprah said. So thank you Oprah for that video. I'm trying to honor my calling as much as I can now. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot more from me. So subscribe if you want to hear more about this. I'm going to be making a ton more videos about life purpose because I found a lot, of, a lot of videos on YouTube that I like and I love Sometimes people like what I share and I love sharing other people's things, right? So that way if you watch someone else's video and that video resonates with you more than mine, then you can follow that person. I, I, I love sharing great content from other people. So I'll be doing that a lot more too. So have a beautiful day. Honor your purpose if you can. I know it's scary, but it's so freaking worth it. So freaking worth it. So. Are you going to honor that calling that picked you? Why not you? Why not now? Right? Why wait? One life, baby. One life. So beautiful. Have an amazing day.